And good evening, I'm meteorologist Amber Wheeler. This is your one minute forecast on this Tuesday. It is November 29th. We've got winds that are strong out there. It is 8.35 p.m. and the winds are out of the northwest at around 15 to 25 sustained. And then you've got wind gusts on top of that that are around 40, 35 and 40. So it is just a windy evening and you can thank the low that's to the northeast of us as to why that's happening. Now, as that low pushes to the east later tonight, the winds will eventually die down, but it's gonna take a while. <coughs> <clears throat> Excuse me. And then as we head through the day on Wednesday, a cold high will take its place uh, that will help, help us out in the wind department, but not in the temperature department. We're going to stay cold tomorrow because of this high. Once we get into, uh, say, Wednesday night into Thursday, you know, there are some models that are trying to bring some snow to the James River Valley area, but uh, largely through the day on Thursday, we're looking at some cloud cover and some, some warmth. Temperatures look to warm back into the 20s, maybe some 30s, and that's ahead of a low moving through on Friday. This could give us one to three inches of snow. Uh, that's what we know right now. This is not going to be a major system, but it is going to be something we should watch because it could slow you down a bit. Here are your wind trends for tonight. You see here, here the numbers are, are going to start falling, but still a sustained 20 mile per hour wind through the overnight. That's still really strong. And even into tomorrow, your winds around 10 to 15 for the morning hours with lows in the single digits will keep your wind chills very low. So here are your lows, lots of single digits, low single digits of that. So <clears throat> what we have for tonight, our wind chills that are going to be down to around 10 to 15 below for tomorrow morning. Highs on Wednesday don't recover much. Lots of teens. And then over the next 10 days, you can pick out where another push of Arctic air moves through. That's the beginning of next week. But here are your next 10 days worth of temperatures for, for highs. We've got some ups and downs here over the next several days, still keeping it below average. Average is in the low 30s. And then next week, we've got some single digit highs that are certainly a good possibility for Monday and Tuesday.